One day, the Buddha was strolling alone on the brink of the lotus pond of paradise. The lotus flowers in bloom in the pond were all as white as pearls, and the golden pistils and their centers ceaselessly filled all the air with ineffable fragrance. It was morning in paradise. Presently, the Buddha stood still on the brink of the pond and, through an opening among the leaves which covered the face of the water, suddenly behold the scene below. As the floor of the head lay directly beneath the lotus pond of paradise, the river of the threefold path to eternal darkness and the piercing peaks of the middle mountain were distinctly visible through the crystal waters as true mystery. Then his eyes fell on a man named Kandata, who was squirming with the other seeders at the bottom of the lake. was the great robber who had done many evil things, murdering and setting fire to houses. But he had to his credit one good action. Once while on his way through a deep forest, he had noticed a little spider creeping along beside the road. So quickly, lifting his foot, he was about to trample it to death when he suddenly thought, no, no, small as thing is, it too has a soul. It would be rather a shame to kill it, and he spared the spider's life. As he looked down into hell, the Buddha remembered how this Kandata spared the li spider's life, and in turn for that good deed, he thought, if possible, he would like to deliver him out of hell. Fortunately, when he looked around, he saw a spider of paradise spinning a beautiful silver thread on the lotus leaves. The Buddha quietly took up the spider's thread in his hand, in his hand and let it go straight down at the bottom of hell, far below through the opening among the pearly white lotus flowers. Here, Kandata had been rising and thinking with the other sinners in the pool of blood on the floor of hell. It was thick drop everywhere, and when at times a glimpse was caught of something rising from the darkness, it turned to be the gleam of the peaks of the dreaded mount, middle mountain. The stillness of the grave reigned everywhere. And the only thing that could be heard now, and then was faint sign of the sinners. This was because of such sinners who had come down to this spot had already been worn out by other manifold tortures of hell and had lost even the strength to cry aloud. So, great a rubber heap though he was, Kandata, choking with the blood, could do nothing but struggle in the pool like a dying frog. But his time came. On this day, when Kandata lifted his head by chance and looked up to at the sky above the pool of blood. He saw a silver spider's thread sleeping down toward him from the high, high heaven, glittering lightly in the silent darkness, just as if it, if it feared the eyes of men. When he saw this, his hands clapped themselves for joy. If like leaning into the shed, he climbed as far as it went. Could surely escape hell. If all went well, well, he might even enter paradise. Then, he would never be driven back to the Needle Mountain or sunk in the pool of blood. As soon as these thoughts came into his mind, he grasped the thread tightly with his two hands and began to climb up and up with all his might. Because he's a great robber, <laughs> he had long been thoroughly familiar with such things. But hell is nobody knows. 
how many millions of miles he moved on paradise. As drove as he might, he could not easily get out. After cl climbing for a while, he was finally exhausted and could not ascend an inch higher. Since he could do nothing else, he stopped the rest and hanging to the thread, looked far, far down below him. Now, now since he had climbed with all his might, the pool of blood where he had just been was already much to his surprise. He didn't dip down in the darkness, and the dreaded needle mountain glittered dimly under him. If he went up at this rate, he might get out of hell more easily than he had thought. With his hand twisted into the spider's thread, Kandata laughed and exulted in a voice as he had not uttered during all these years since coming here. Success! Success! But suddenly, he noticed that below the thread, countless sinners were climbing eagerly after him, up and up, like a procession of ants. When he saw this, Kandata simply blinked his eyes for a moment, with his big mouth hanging foolishly open in surprise and terror. How could that slender spider thread, which seemed it must break even with him alone, ever support and weight of all those people? If it should break in midair, even he himself, after all his effort in reaching this spot, would have to fall headlong back into hell. But meanwhile, hundreds, hundreds and thousands of sinners were squirming out of the dark pool of blood and climbing with all their might in a line up the slender glittering thread. If he did not do something quickly, the thread was sure to break in two and he would fall. So, Kandata cried out in a loud voice, Hey you sinners! This spider's thread is mine! Who gave you permission to come up it? Get down! Get down! Just at that moment, the spider thread, which had shown no sign of breaking up to that time, suddenly broke up with a snuff at the point where Kandata was hanging. Without even time to utter a cry, he shot down and fell headlong into the darkness around and around like a mm. Afterward. Afterward, only the paradise by the spread, glittering and slender, hung short in the moonless and starless sky. Standing on the brink of the lotus pond of paradise, the Buddha had watched closely all that had happened, and when Kandato sank like a stone to the bottom of the pool of blood, he began to walk again with a sad expression on his face. Doubtlessly, Candato's cold heart that would have saved only himself and his fall back into hell had appeared to the Buddha's eyes most pitiful. But the lotuses in the lotus pond of paradise cared nothing at all about such things. The pearly white flowers were swaying about the Buddha's feet as they swayed from the golden pistils in their centers. Their, their ineffable fragrance filled all the air. It was near noon in paradise. Here, Kandata had been rising and sinking with the other sinners. Hindi ka kaita. Battery empty. Doubtlessly, 
second that a scold heart that would have saved only himself and his <laughs> 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 flowers in the pond were all as white as pearls, and the golden fields and their, their fields ceaselessly all the air with never more birds. It was morning in fire. Oh. Presently, the Buddha... Ah! And it's higher. The Buddha quiet this way. How could that slender spider spread, which seemed as if it must break even? <laughs> As the floor of the hell lay directly beneath the lotus pond of paradise, the river of the triple to eternal darkness and the peace. The Buddha was rolling along no. the feet of the lotus pond of paradise. No. The blue bird. Nandawa ng mga re. Thank <laughs> you.